Hey, 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 hey. Last episode of 2021, Keegan. Ah, the and we bite. Over. Deep service podcast, man. Listen, who was talking? No, you was talking. <laughs> <laughs> As always. <laughs> we'll talk. Listen, man. We'll talk about our top five. Amen. Top five. Mm-hmm. Go. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm Ivan. You go. <laughs> I get. I get. <laughs> no, fuck. How you gonna try to put me on nah, the spotlight? Like nah, I'm the, I'm, hey, I'm the finale. Pressure make make diamonds All the right, best pipes. We're gonna do. Um, who was talking about it? <laughs> but yeah, because we were talking about the Nas and Jay Z beef. Yeah. And um, did the Nas and Jay Z beef resurrect Nas' career? I believe so to a certain Absolutely. extent. However, was it a chess move by Jay to save his own career at the exact same time? I think it's. I think it was both. I think. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Yo, hold up, hold no, up. No, no. I think. I, I I think that. I think it was business done by them in the back rooms. I think this was strategic. I think that we talked about it. 50 Cent was coming on during that time. Mm -hmm. You had the West Coast coming on that time. We was talking about Eminem, how he was coming on at the time. And they were pretty much taking over. Um, Jay-Z had the blueprint out. You remember we talked about this off camera too. People were saying that um, Eminem, you kind of beat Jay-Z on Renegade. And that's a fact. (laughs) (laughs) I think we were gassed. I even said anything right I now. think we were gas. No, uh, he, he got him on Renegade. Nah, I, he, I think we were gas back then. Eminem had made a good album since Marshall Mathers. So they were a straight face. <laughs> I think they all start sounding the same. I don't think that, you know, I think Eminem, Eminem lyrically is in the top 15. So you don't think top he evolved? 15. You don't think he evolved? I don't know if he could evolve because I don't think we could relate to Eminem to only to a certain space. I think especially the, the genre that point. he was in, it's almost like a black man singing country. Yeah. He can sound good, but it, the, the, the relation to it, um, especially with hip-hop, because hip-hop is so everyday black people. Yeah. Uh, country's a lot of stories and a lot of stuff like that. But it's depression music. Yeah, it's de- Don't it's do that. definitely it's de- depression. It's depression music. It is, but what I'm saying is like it's specifics in hip-hop. Like hip-hop, mm. like you know hip-hop. No question. Yeah. Did but he country, widen? Country, feel it. You feel country it. Country music is depression music. It so is. Be clear. But did he widen <laughs> the clear. spectrum though? I feel like ever since Eminem came out with his style and his technique, that it widened the genre for other people that fit within that exact same type of life. Take nine was okay, out for him, right? Oh yeah, we got we got slow Ivan. You bugging? You bugging? You bugging? We had we had, we had third base. We had Cypress Hill. We had yeah. a lot of white guys who did real work in hip hop. But I want to come back to something Ivan said. You can't resurrect that which is not dead. And Nas' career was not dead at the time. We're going to stop that. I don't think it was dead. I I just, I I don't think it was at the level of his talent. I don't think he was at the level um, that he should be operating on, like he's been operating on. And like you said, he was, I didn't know that he was dealing with his mother's um, death. Yeah, I mean, he was dealing with some, it's reasons. Yeah. You can be off top for a lot of reasons. It's not, it, it, it wasn't just that. But all top of being having a having a dead career is two different things. I well, want to make so, sure we're clear about that. And when, when I say that, when I say resurrect his career, I don't mean as if he was dead, but I think that it rebirthed him. He was born again in what he actually was doing prior to not doing anything. Because after I am, and then you got Lost Taste and Nostradamus, and by the way, Nas is my number one. So he's and he always has been. There was a stagnant in his career. Yes, yeah. no doubt. No way. Yeah. And I, I believe that. that that stagnant in his career, Jay Z stepped on his toes and he had to respond. And and he made that he made that uh Easy. <laughs> Be kind. He made that cartoon character song Ether. Cartoon wow. character. Y'all bugging. Wow. Y'all bugging. The takeover oh, you talking was better about the, than Ether. Oh, you talking about the greatest. So you talking about the greatest. The takeover, about the greatest the takeover was better song. than Ether. So no, it was not. Jay, I'm sick of this. Stop Steve. it. Stop Jay, Jay, it Jay said it himself. Ether was gas. Jay said it himself. He was calling it Max. I thought, listen, I'm riding with my guy. I mean, it is takeover okay to, only needed one okay, verse. It's okay to ride with your guy, but takeover was trash. I won't go that far. It was not good. What? At all. I won't go that far. Yeah, I won't go that far. <laughs> you fucking yeah, get us out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mister said the beat, the beat, <laughs> was, <laughs> the beat wasn't good. The beat wasn't the good. Guy. I don't think the lyric. It's nothing rememberable from the takeover to me at all. The breaks over. 
That's no. I would tell no. you this. Come on, man. The I'm way sorry. he killed God, the, way he, the way he killed Mob Deep. Yeah, yeah. Come yeah, on, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ain't ready for war. All that's not too that's, strong that's, for that's y'all. Nothing, it's that's like bringing nothing. a knife to a f- man. That's, come on, has man. Nothing a knife to, do with to a fist fight. True, true. Pin to a test. Nothing to do with an eye. Chest in the line of fire with your thin ass vest. Man, stop it, Ivan. You was getting run to your grand. You was getting run to your mama's house. <laughs> Ashy knuckles backed up against the brick okay, wall. Okay, okay, okay. We have a lyrical battle. No, I'm just letting you know that. You had the worst flow in the whole fucking song, but I know when the sun don't shine, the sun don't shine. That's why you're. Come on, man. Come on, one verse. You know what's funny, Tim? Four albums in ten years, nigga. I can divide. This started with your top five, and we devolved into a Jay Z Nas battle. But I don't want to. But here's the thing, though. I know I'm gonna. People gonna disagree with me on the Ether thing, but Ether was gassed. Ether was not better than Takeover. It was not. It was not. Your own opinion. That's okay. You really do. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna sit alone in this chair, but if I'm gonna you go, if you go and look at the numbers <laughs> based on which ones probably listen to more, I guarantee you it's gonna be Ether. Ether was just a gas. It was just gas, but bro. But this track is not about content, bro. So stop it. He wasn't trying to talk about you know Democrat, Republican, social issues. It was a diss track. So stop saying it was trash. Stop that. <laughs> I ain't like. What's your top five album? Huh? Yes, yeah. he was. He went straight he needed a whole, off. He needed a whole song, Jock. He didn't need it. He, he needed a whole song, he bro. He, he, no, no, he gave him a whole song. And he had writers. I heard he had writers, no, too. No, he did not. We're oh, not going to talk about that, though. We're not going to stop that. Stop that. You're going to 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 stop that. You're doing anything right now. Listen, Nas my guy. <laughs> Nas my his last His last two last albums. two albums. Is his last two albums. Butter. Unbelievable. King, King butter. Disease. Butter. King Disease 1 and 2. Nas, listen, Nas starting to remind me. He's getting better as his career. He's having, listen, Nas having a Stevie Wonder type run. Mm. You know how Stevie Wonder just kept getting better? Mm. Yeah. Nas is getting, every album, I think he's finding his beat. He's fine, like a lot of producers, it was, he's so lyrical. He's so good that a lot of producers, because of the way music started being produced with the trap music and stuff like that, people who had lyricists, it was hard to find beats that connected with the audience. Um, because he had his core fan base. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. He always going to have them. He always, yeah. People who love Nas going to love Nas. But I'm talking about that, the, the wide spectrum for people to see. And I think King Disease, King Disease 2, um, just brought, showed you how rangy Nas was. Yeah, no question. Man, I, he di- can, Those two albums are very diversified. Very, And it reminds you of It Was Written, when Dre was what was with him. Mm-hmm. His, it, the diversity of what he can do is, is almost incomparable. If he's with, if he get him in the right pocket with the right, right. producer, yeah. What, what do you um? Nah, I, I'll say this about Nas. Um, Nas a hell of an actor too. I won't argue. And Belly, with that. Nas was great in Belly, bro. I won't argue with you. I, I thought that he would do more roles. Um, I I how I was really. Jay and Streets was watching. How's Jay, how was Jay when Streets was watching? <laughs> Jay ain't no actor, bro. <laughs> Jay, Jay got out of that space real quick. It was a dub. It was trash. And that, I get my my boy can do a lot, but that was not that good. Not one of them. State property movie was good though. I like Beanie. I thought Beanie could have been a modern day Tony Montana. Mm. I thought if he kept going, right acting coach, right film, right move. I I I'll say this: he could have played that Denzel role in um, Training Day. Training day. Training. I won't doubt that. Because yeah, the films yeah. were so low budget, you didn't realize that Beanie made the whole state property movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, Cameron was good in um, and um, Whoa. with uh, um, with Makai um, Pfeiffer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Wood what is Harris. it, Doug? Wood Harris, Peyton, Peyton Ford. Ford. Peyton what am I? I'm bugging. Yeah, Peyton Ford. Don't we got a portion of our black card yeah, taken? Yeah, one, one, <laughs> hey, one we definitely got a hood really card taken. Yeah, we should have said that the, right off. One, that. Of, one <laughs> of the best movies, though. One of the best movies because people sleep on Wood Harris as an actor. Wood Harris, ooh. And and it was a great, listen, bro, he was also showing you something in that movie, too. Mm-hmm. He was showing you about camaraderie and togetherness. Everybody eats. Yes. Although, mm-hmm. see, we missed the, me- although we thought, it, we thought it was about him, the way he was achieving the message was flawed, selling drugs to his own community. But in the way that he went about doing it included, and some people made a lot of money, and they could have kept making money if it wasn't for, <laughs> no, no, not Mitch. What's the other one? What's the um, yeah. What's Cam? Uh, what's his? Um, what's his name? God, what's his name? Bro, I gotta Google this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Cam name. Hold on, I gotta Google oh this. Oh God! Cam but when you when podcast. you think about rappers, hey, we do. That we have, yeah, in full. 
Yeah. Everybody do this, bro. But when you think about rappers that have crossed Rico. over. Rico. Yeah. When you think about rappers that have crossed over into acting, you only have a few of them that actually became great, but you have some that actually became great. And yeah. people forget how the essence of hip hop grows you into something huge. Like, let's look at somebody like Queen Latifah. Sometimes Unbel- people oh don't God. even remember. She's unbelievable. Remember the fact that she actually was a hip hop artist. A big one at that. A big one. Will Smith. Well, he wasn't. <laughs> he was. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn, we, son. We're not, gonna, we're, not, we're not calling hey, you him. Hit the button on that. We're not gonna call him a great hip hop. Summertime artist. was a classic. We, yeah. Absolutely. So, absolutely. Uh, Will, but Will Smith could go. Hey, he Let's can, not do this. We're not gonna do this. He can flow. We're not gonna do this. Will Smith back at that time. Right. He, it was. It was good. I ain't gonna yeah. give him. He can, right. he can flow. But, that Miami took him out track though. But but I'm going to That one. He was bugging on. You want to get jiggy with it? Just the two of us. The two of us. Just the two of us. Oh my God, y'all bugging. <laughs> Ivan, Ivan, most deaf. Oh yes, absolutely. Unbelievable. Most actor. Actor. Unbelievable. Unbelievable act. Matter of fact, most deaf is actually one of my favorite actors. Yeah. One of my favorite movies. Absolutely, is, he could be that. Um, oh gosh, man, why is everything evading me? The uh, one with Marky Mark, uh, with Mark Wahlberg, where they um, do the um, they do the gold heights. Uh, oh, Italian job. Italian, Italian job. Yeah. Italian that was job. one of my favorite movies. He was on Brown Sugar too. Yeah, he was on yeah. Brown Sugar yeah. too. And that was one of the first times that I seen the white movie first though. So Ivan, go check. No, that was the first I, time that I seen Most Death. Oh, and, and I saw him in the light of being an actual great actor. Gotcha. Go check out Something the Lord Made. Mm, right. Yes. So he played the doctor that discovered and figured out how to do triple um bypass surgery for hearts. Oh wow! And a white that they got the credit. Yes, we'll check it yes. out. Yes, I it seen was, that. That's I have not. Amazing. Seen it. Unbelievable! Ivan is amazing. Something the Lord made. Check a- it out. And I'll say another one too as well. Uh, Drake and Degrassi. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> but, Moving on. But but we do. Drake have, was pretty good in Degrassi though. Moving no, on. I mean, but <laughs> next subject. But damn. But, but we <laughs> also can't. We also can't T. forget T. about. What do you think about Ti? Method Man. Method. Yeah, oh, method's good. I'll give you Method Man. Method's good. Method Man. He's is great good. in power. Me- he's yeah. great. Yeah, method's he's good. great in power, and he's actually done some other movies yes. outside yes. of like yeah. he's a good actor. He the played on Jamie Foxx. Yeah, right. Yeah, he's done some good stuff. Yeah. Well, you could even say somebody like a Jamie Foxx who came from comedy. True. Yeah. Even like guys like that, Jamie yeah. Foxx. I mean, is he? Is anybody in Hollywood more talented than Jamie Foxx? Diversity of skill set. Yeah. I don't no, know. No. I don't think so. Honestly, I don't think so. I, don't think so. I, mean, I mean, think about it. This guy sings. Yeah. He, he actually got hits. He got a hit in every music, entertainment. He got an Oscar. Yeah. Can you tell yeah. me anybody who's ever depicted a role better than Ray? Ray. No. It's no. one of the best roles of all time. And I was so I was one of those people that was on the fence. I was like, him for Ray? <laughs> and you know, he was good in Ali, right? Yeah, I think he was better than Will Smith. I think he played his role. He did. He played Ben Dini That's better than Will Smith played Ali. That, I was actually about to go there. That's a good point. I was actually about to go there. And so because wow, he was just powerful point. the guy on the side in that movie, and then to see him go into a place like Ray, and I never saw Jamie Foxx. That's when you know the power of being a good actor. He's I a didn't great, see Jamie Foxx. He's a, he's a, he did everything. He played the piano. Yes. He saw him, like he did everything. They had a little special on it. I seen it. It man, it takes a certain. That's gifts, bro. It is. It really is. That's gifts. It really is. Um, Denzel and Malcolm X. Let me talk about Denzel for a second. <laughs> he makes me believe every role. He does. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. I'll even say this. Here's the separation from Jamie and Denzel. Jamie can play some movies, and I know it's still Jamie. The taking of Pelham 1, 2, 3, I believe Denzel was broke. I believe that he did what they say he did. I believe that he was just working a union job. I'm serious. I didn't think about Denzel. Yeah. It wasn't on my mind. Like It wasn't like, oh, this is Denzel acting. I, I go into the movie, The Equalizer. I go in. Man, the equal, man Denzel is unbelievable. Yeah. Do we give Malcolm X too much credit, though, the movie? No. no we well, do not. What? No, we do not. Too much. Go ahead. Hold on, go hold ahead. On. I like. Get, make sure you get no. the camera. I've been stretching the night. He's been stretching the night. He's been stretching the night. Let me make my point with it. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> did Steve, I mean, I'm sorry. Did Spike Lee have too many theatrics in that? See, the thing is, is the, the story of Malcolm X 
was a good story. And your leading man was a phenomenal leading man. But when you really go back and take a look at that movie, there's so many other frivolous things taking place in that movie that are absolutely trash. And, and I, cause, and you know, when, you well, know like when what? I realized you, that? You got to prove, what, what do you mean? The, the, the walking down the street and swinging your arm. Yeah, that, but that's what, that's, that's, like, what's but that's, hold on, those, those are Spike Lee signatures. What? And that's the problem yeah, that those, I have. Those, 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 that's the problem that I have with Malcolm X. I don't but have a problem that's, with that's the all his movies. That's Mo Better Blues, Jungle Fever. You look at all his movies. You even look at on the Inside Man. All his movies. That's his signature. But that's comes from the Harlem Renaissance. That comes yeah. from the Harlem, Harlem Renaissance. That's where it comes from. That, what yeah. I'm saying is, so, so you don't like it. But that's what it, that's what it, that's yeah. what it comes. But from. that's what we yeah. did. He ingratiated black culture and how he was just setting the atmosphere. Yeah. And I think that's what you do in movies like that. I don't think you just completely. I just think he P Diddy. Spike Lee? Yeah, he wanted to dance in all his own movies. <laughs> he's like the. Did he get the message he's like across? Diddy, he's like Diddy. Because, okay, Diddy. Did he get it? Do, do, do the right thing is about doing the wrong thing. No, no, no. I'm talking, let's go back <laughs> to Malcolm I'm, I'm, just, I'm talking about Malcolm X. Okay, okay. Did he get Malcolm the message Absolutely. Across? That's all absolutely I'm saying. Absolutely with Malcolm X. And I he think got that's, the the, that's where we go with it. I think you, you got to realize, did he get the message out? Yeah. Did, did, did it accomplish? Because I think prior to that, you got to think about it. Malcolm X, the name of Malcolm X wasn't exclaimed or wasn't um, celebrated was between the years from, of 64 and about 92. Because mm-hmm. um, we really Mal, we really got the story of, of, of Martin Luther King um, yeah, Martin and, and I Have a Dream speech that in the Rosa Parks. We got the basis of um, civil rights. We didn't get the the meat, the potatoes, the bones, the, real the, the beans. We didn't Absolutely. get everything um, that made the civil rights real. They kind of painted it in a um, euphoric light. They painted it as, as like this, you know, she sounded of us. And she, it was always heroic and triumphant. Mm-hmm. So we had this this dim um, view on like how, how easy things can happen. How mm-hmm. quick, just get it quick, get it quick. Nah, they don't work like that. The civil rights was a struggle. Yes. The civil rights was a struggle. It was a daily struggle. It wasn't she just all of a sudden woke up one day. And it was another woman who sat on the bus before it her too. Yeah. yeah. They just didn't want to use her. Yeah. She was, had, she was a pretty teenager, that's why. Yeah. She didn't want to use her. Because she, pretty it, she, just, she couldn't fit she couldn't be the face of the actual movement. And so during that time, because I remember I remember when the Malcolm X movie came out. I was in middle school. Man. So long ago. It was long ago. <laughs> and I remember having my Malcolm X t-shirt. I remember getting the little the little leather medallion with the African imprint. Mm-hmm. I, re- I remember it like it was yesterday. I remember going to watch that movie, and it did give me a sense of what civil rights was from Malcolm X's perspective. And still to this day, I mean, we got Selma, but we don't really get the meat and potatoes when it comes to um, Martin Luther King Jr. Well, the, the reason, I'm sorry, I'm go ahead. I'm no, and I was just going to say that, that movie definitely, so though the criticism that I do have for Spike Lee, and I have a lot, if you ever going to do Did that. Did you see him take a picture of Steph Curry? The other day? I have a lot. <laughs> so, so, so Ivan loves bamboozled, but, um, <laughs> 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 but I'll say to your point, and, and her name was Claudette Colvin, who was the first one to sit on the bus. She was, she was a pregnant teenager. They want to make it the face of the, uh, of the actual movement. But the thing about Malcolm X, he was demonized by people other than us. And when somebody else controls your narrative, that's what they will do. Mm-hmm. They go, do you know as the most powerful person you can actually look at? Start learning our own thing about Malcolm X or realizing, oh, snap. Because one of the best books I've ever read is his autobiography. It's unbelievable. Plain and simple. Mm-hmm. I'm a reader. But that book, different. Different. So when somebody else tells your story and controls your narrative, yeah, you're not gonna get the full meat and potatoes. Plain and simple. Yeah. And I, you know, and that's we, we know, integration. And, and integration had its pros and its cons. Mm-hmm. You know, it wasn't. This is, it, you know, you gotta. It, I think sometimes when we have have conversations about integration, um, and, and us kind of um, our culture being dissolved, or it, we kind of forgetting about it, or it just goes to the back. Um, I think we gotta realize that we have to stay balanced in all of this, because we gotta take the good. With the bad, mm-hmm. we can't we can't try to take one of them, and I think we've been sold that. I think that's been our desire just to take the best parts. There was good people and there was bad people. There's good white people. There's bad black people. There's good people on both sides. Yeah. Yes. You know, realistically, that's exactly. the truth. You sound like Trump. You sound like Donald Trump. Right yeah, you now. sound like Trump. Right <laughs> <now>. Verified people. 
there on is. both sides. <laughs> now, culturally, collectively, there's a problem. Yeah, no doubt. Absolutely. We're talking about white people and black people. Collectively, we speak a language. We do the same thing that keeps us in a certain places on both sides of the fence. Yeah. But individually, um, there, there's it's just a balance on both ends because there, there were white people that helped in the civil oh, rights movement. Yes, absolutely. There was a lot no of white question. people even before that, the civil that's rights. What I'm I mean, because no yeah, white persons. There's a difference. Would Harriet Tubman have been able to do what she'd done? Yeah, without the um, uh, without the, the assistance the Quakers. of some the Quakers. abolitionists. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So you know, and I, I think you know, there's white persons that sing in a singular form that you know that help out that that fair that, point that, good distinction then there's I'm white watching. people yeah. um that that we have to hold everybody in that accountable because you're still complicit because things are still going on yeah. and that's a constant fight people try to fight out of their their biases people i try to get out of my biases too mm-hmm. it's harder for black people to be delivered from their biases because they're still feeling the effect of um what what that what they did to us yeah, yeah, so absolutely. it makes us a little bit more it, it makes us a little bit more at uh, stay back a little bit. Mm, that's with you. I'm with you. And, and a little bit more reluctant to get heat praise or give out credit yeah. or say you're doing this because we're always at bay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because all all that to black folks has represented has been oppression. It hasn't represented something um, that that gives us um, joy. No question. In that, Absolutely. In that term. Absolutely. So you know, speaking of joy. Being taken away. <laughs> yes, we transition. I that was good though. We just talking tonight, man. This is the last episode of the year, man. We want to appreciate it. Let me take a second, man, to appreciate all the people who support yes. the Deep Surface Podcast, who support us, who came um and and just been a part of this journey for the last oh. year. I think it's been incredibly uh it's been a journey, Keegan. It has been. Um we'd have had some hell of a years. I done had a hell of a year. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> I had a fucking year. Um, but it, it was filled with good and bad. This is why I talk about balance. Because if I just took the bad of my year, then I'm complaining. But if I take both, then I say, okay, I got something to work with. Mm-hmm. Right. You have nothing to work with when you're complaining. Yeah. So there's been some good things, some bad things. But, man, we appreciate you guys being with us um, through all the ups and downs. We're coming at you guys with more content, um, with, with, with just more um, and we're going to deliver a product to you that's worth your your, your listen, worth your ear, um, because we know where you're busy. We know you got things going on. We know that you, like, life gets hectic for all of us, mm-hmm. you know, and for you guys to take any time out, five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, hour, whatever it is to, to take a listen, um, um, uh, we, we appreciate you. And I want to say that from the bottom of my heart for yes, those sir. of us um, at the Deep Service Podcast. Yes, absolutely. Sir. Absolutely. But Joe Biden. Your cousin. He can tell the people, I'm going to let you go. You just talk. Because this this really makes me upset. So you go ahead. <laughs> uh, so specifically, what about Joe Biden? Because a lot of meat there. But we're gonna, um, let's go with the what we've been arguing about on the chat. Okay. Yeah. So uh, recently, Joe Biden has said unequivocally that there will be no student loan forgiveness. Um, and one of the many things he's done um, – throughout his presidency that I think it pricked my skin personally um, for a number of reasons. And I put it on our group chat. We talked about this a little bit. So I'll just walk through what it means to me, right? So back in the primaries, um, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, and AOC. um, The liberals. The liberals. (laughs) um, They were pushing a lot of things regarding, you know, free school and stuff like that, free health care. But they did push student loan forgiveness. Right. Um, and at that time, Joe Biden was trailing Bernie Sanders. And so he had to figure out a way to, you know, gain traction. It was right before the South Carolina primaries came up, oh, South Carolina trip came up with a stump speech and stuff like that in primaries in that particular state, which changed the course of his particular campaign. But he adopted it and said, yes, we're going to take a look at student loan forgiveness. We're going to actually do something about it. We're going to bring it to light. We're going to do it. So that's how you engage young and middle-aged black voters who went to college, yep. who have attained um, student loans. And I want to I I make one point about student loans because there's been a lot of discussion about if you can't afford it, don't go, stuff like that. To me, that's irrelevant because student loans – 
were pushed to finance school for people who want to go to school. Correct. That's the tool that they use. Absolutely. I used it. I can afford my student loans. Correct. I pay them every single month. But the principle what took place, what I'm going to talk about. So he adopted it, made the campaign promise, talked about throughout his campaign, yada, yada, yada. He gets in the office, and now it's like a no. And it's not a no. Like If, if you want to say we're going to consider it, you know, lie to me. <laughs> right? Campaign and poetry, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mary Weather. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what he started off yeah. by doing. Yeah, yeah. so st- stream me along at least and say, you know, we're considering it, yada, yada, yada. He has a hard line, no, we are not going to extend the deadline for deferring payments. I want to be clear about what I, where my position is. I don't want the deadline to extend it. I want a bill to actually take care of student loans or a portion of it. A portion. You could say up to 30 grand, up to 40. It ain't got to be the whole thing, but I want a bill that actually pays it off. Because what he cannot do by law, he can't make a financial institution waive it. He can't do that. But he can pay them. But the government can pay it off. He for can you. pay them. That's, yes, that's, that's and, my And he point. got the executive. Yes. He can do that by executive yeah, he order. Got EO. Now, Congress controls the purse strings. We got, but he has Congress and Senate right now in his particular, in his particular form of his hand because he, he has the Senate and he has Congress. So that can be done, in my opinion. But it's a hard line, no. So you reneged on a campaign promise that impacts me and my household's pocketbook. This is what, I got a problem with that. This is what makes black people distrust the system. No doubt. This is the this is it. This is why people talk about it's no point in voting. This this is why people don't even bother to do it. Mm-hmm. Because something that could clearly proportionately help black people because that's who it affects the most. No question. Because it come on now. <laughs> the Asian hate bill got happy. they they got passed come on. fast. Easy. Quickly. That got passed right away. Quickly. Have you noticed every listen. Quickly. Anytime it comes to doing something that will put black people in a financially astute position, because this would for a lot of black we people. We get Juneteenth. Yes. Say it again. We get Juneteenth. <laughs> <laughs> So I will say this about this. This is how you hold somebody <laughs> accountable. So you got my vote this time, President Biden. You won't next time. Would you? It's as simple as that. If, if Trump ran in 2024, would you vote for him? So here's the deal. I'm just going to be clear about people. I'm, I believe in voting. I believe in that right I have because my forefathers died for me to have that right. And it does mean something to me. I believe it also has impact. Not the only tool in the toolkit. We also got other tools as well. But I believe in voting. But I don't have to vote for every single line on the ballot. That's facts. So. That's facts. If when we come up for midterms, I'm going to vote everything on the ballot. Okay. Next that's election. Point. Next election, if Biden's the president nominee, he's not getting my vote. Gotcha. But I'm going to vote everything else down, downstream. Would I'm you just, vote, I'm, would you now, vote for Trump? Now, now I got to hold you. Now I got to hold you accountable. Yeah. Would you vote for Trump 2024? 20, 20, no. Oh, what about you, Adam? No. Hold on. Let's be clear about that. You don't have to vote for any line on the ballot. I know. Right? But what you want to vote for, vote for. Biden's not getting my vote. Neither with Trump, though. But Biden's not getting my vote. <laughs> I might vote for the independent. It depends. Because but, I believe I believe in voting. Rega- what Biden has showed us is exactly what. And let's be clear. Has he on. shown us anything differently than any other front seat? politician he's he's even worse than me well no i'll say this the answer to the question ivan is yes the thing about republicans is they have never lied to me and told me they want my business they never told me that they don't tell you that they want your business but they tell you that they're going to try to do something Man. that's going to be beneficial dude. to you dude. <laughs> dude. Dude, dude we're going we're going we're going to ease up hey, on would that. you vote for trump absolutely not okay i thought you no, i thought no you were leading them yeah, yeah. <laughs> not like that if not like that yeah yeah Hell yeah. You know, I would say this. Because <laughs> what, what he has said thus far is no. Now, if he goes ahead and pass a bill, we can talk about it. Yeah. But you're not going to sit here and tell me we're going to look at it in year three. No, we're not doing that. 
Because now you, know, you, you do the same thing over and over again. But the public, I got to have a bill on but the, the but we But the public, I think now we can put the pressure on him. And if Kam- if Kamala get in office, we can definitely put the pressure on her. <laughs> because I don't well, know if Joe well, Biden we, we won't. I'm nothing. not sure if Joe going to make it. Well, I, Kamala, I don't Kamala, see she has a problem with her, with, her, with her particular, with her organization. She's losing people left and right. They won't stay with her. They will not stay there. She's losing people left and right wow. in her organization. She got a problem, leadership wise. So, yeah, the whole the whole ship is a little suspect right now. It's shaky. It is. It's I shaky. think America. I think we just shaky all together. Mm-hmm. I think as a nation, we just shaky. I think. I think the identity. I think all the you, you talk about the presidents and what they do, but it really comes down to, um, it really it comes down to us. Are we true? It comes down. To I, us. I know. Th- I know. This is not something that we typically talk about, but are we seeing a shift in power? What do you mean? Is the East coming? That's, that's quite possible. I think absolutely. I think that's, I ain't going to speculate, but yeah. I think biological, bi- I think they've, I think unity always, here's the thing that, uh, this is how America got their freedom. You, they unified. The American Revolution, they unified. They, they put all of who they were aside and they became one voice. They became one idea. That's what moves, that's what moves people from, um, last to first is they decide to say, okay, I don't agree with you on hardly shit. I don't agree with you on hardly shit, but we need to work together. Well, yeah, when it comes to affecting the country, because even 9 11 is the unity across cultures, right? But we're not talking about those things. I don't want to muddy the waters. We're talking about Joe Biden. I know. I, no, right? no but I, and I and know. I'm, and like I said, I'm not letting him off the hook. No, I'm not going to let him off the hook, but at the end of the day, these, but disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. It, it got to come to a point to where, and I know we don't. I know we just having a discussion about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I think that's the remedy to give to give the people a solution that, like, we ain't just complaining, but we do have to have a solution. Um, and I think that that comes with. But us. repeat that. I think you said is the East coming? Yeah, China, China, Asia. <laughs> so yeah, I think they already. Well, yeah, I think we're a little late on that boat. Yeah, we just don't know it yet. Yeah, that, um, and that's and that's where I was going. With you, it. you know, China, China and Russia had a had a had a summit. Was Trump lying about the China virus? virus? Was he lying about the China virus? Don't, don't. I'm please, just asking the don't, question. But don't say that, though. I'm just <laughs> don't, asking. Don't, don't call it that, though. <laughs> no, no, no. What I'm saying, I know what it is, but what I'm saying, when he said it, well, he was trying to reference that China, you know. I don't know who's listening from China. That's why I said, you know. <laughs> so, that's so. <laughs> so <laughs> Listen, what, what, I what, no, a, no, what are you asking? I'm asking, was Trump right on where COVID came from? I don't know. Is it conceivable? Can, can we put it in the context that maybe I maybe this is biological warfare? It, it's highly possible that it is, but you're you're assuming that America didn't do it versus China. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. Because. The why last, would America? So there's a number of reasons mm. why. That's, now so, we're talking. So let's talk about, and now, now let's be clear about the audience. So we are talking about conspiracy theories, right? We're not talking about. We went Joe Rogan. Facts. Yeah, I'm just, I want to be clear about what we're talking about. Theories. But, but theories. Maybe not conspiracy, but theories. Theories. But to your point about why would they. So climate change is a real big issue. That's true. The biggest contributor to climate change is what? People. Of course. Talk about carbon all day, but it's people, right? So you hear people talk about the economy is too fragile to invest in climate change to the point that the liberals want to, namely a Republican point talking point, right? So if I curb the population a little bit, I can help that particular cause without putting my economy at risk. That's one argument people make about yeah. why you would do it. The other thing you talk about America is there's a huge burden on the um, on the government's financial and fiscal responsibility when it comes to Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security requires more funding. You have a lot of older people who are draining that particular bucket of money, and we can't work hard to get that money back in the bucket. So if I curb that particular population, I can ease my burden on that side of the fence. I'm not saying this stuff is true. We're talking about this as to why you might have a coronavirus. Like yeah, the market I mean, right no, and those are you know, those are valid reasons. I mean, you know, every powerful nation is gonna gonna protect their entity. Mm-hmm. 
by any means necessary. The people are just a, a people in a powerful, especially like a rural republic, like Rome. So they're gonna sell you the fairy tale stuff, but if they have to be the grizzly bear, they will. Yeah. So it's well, they're proving that already. Yeah, yeah. they're proving that. They, already. they will do it. So, you know what so I mean? and, and I'll say this to, to to white people who white say, "Oh God, he's talking heresy." Remember that we went through Tuskegee. Absolutely, we know what they're capable of doing. Absolutely, Let's be clear about it. Now, I'm not saying these are my views as far as what's going on. I'm just saying people are talking about this stuff. But let me be clear: we experienced Tuskegee. We know what they keep doing. And pop- population control isn't just privy to uh, American power. Absolutely not. It's been no. the, the, the Persians did it, the Greeks did it, the Ro- Romans did it, Babylonian, Babylonian people did it. So, I mean, power, you know. I'm trying to get a child tax right now. <laughs> yeah, China. <laughs> it, that's not exclusive to us. You know, population control is a thing. You need, I mean, it's, it's people, we're killing the earth. So, easy, Steve, you sound a little bit like Thanos. I'm just, I'm just balance. <laughs> hey, that's this guy too. Dread it, run from it. <laughs> Destiny arrives all the same. But listen, people gonna die. But here's the here's the theory and the rationale to power. You know, if you want to learn about power, okay, they're gonna die. We're just gonna speed the process up. Everything's inevitable. They control how fast inevitable happens. That's the thing we haven't got over yet. You're never getting complete power from them. That's why you create power on your own and you force, you need power responds to power. Power doesn't respond to weakness. That's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. If you're in a relationship, who has the most leverage? The motherfucker that don't care. <laughs> Whenever you're in a season in your relationship <laughs> and she don't care more than you do, you're desperate. You're weak. <laughs> it goes that way, bro. That's how power works. It concedes nothing. I haven't, I haven't jumped in there, Ivan, because I'm not Power that. concedes <laughs> nothing until it's confronted with its own self. Mm. I won't argue with that. It won't. won't and, and that's what I'm that. saying. I, it, it, this is a... Get, cap, listen, this is... It ain't really the government. I, I was going back to your point. It's capitalism. You can't control capitalism. What happened is the rich is paying it out. But the wealthy is paying... They, they, they're them subsidies on the, the rich... And that's who's controlling, I believe. I think the rich may have a lot to do with, you know, if. So if I would the, say. If the, uh, to I one would, of your theories. I would say the rich is the board of directors and stockholders yes. and the company, yeah. and the company is the government. There is no other entity in point. the world that does not sell a product, make you give them money, and you can't stop it from happening. You can't. <laughs> you, that's true. It's Apple's about, listen, Apple's about there. I ain't got no damn iPhone. I'm just letting you know. You need to get one, bro. Stop you here. bugging. <laughs> see, you're bugging. See, you you you're a big bugger. You're the salesperson. You're the salesperson. No, you're you bugging. You're a drug dealer. I'm going to be honest with you. Apple, Apple, listen, Apple. Apple corner. This, listen, bro. I don't know where life will be without Apple. <laughs> and that's the problem. Uh, uh, that might that's, be. That's, I'm going to be honest with you. Problem. Problem. See, people don't understand. Right they don't know And you got a drawer, too. Be. I do. I, that's why you're saying that. Yes. I do. Listen, this is why I hate I'm not connected to the vine. So you think Apple has us connected? Yes, I know they do. They put listen. A- Apple even put that. They put that. The, the, the bitten apple, fruit. The bitten <laughs> apple. <laughs> the bitten fruit. apple is their logo. Yeah. You know. You know who really. <laughs> That's true. Hey, you know. Who, you know. I was kind of. <laughs> I was in the dark at once, like teetering on droid, and we worked together. Me and Tim, you know, Tim put me on Apple. His love for Apple really drew me to Apple, bro. Why he put you out there like that, bro? <laughs> Yo, Tim in the Apple light. That's why I called him. He's been an Apple disciple for a minute, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga get every new pro that come out. <laughs> nah, bro, I can't. I, listen, this iPhone is too good, bro. That's the problem. I was watching this show called Twenties, and Big Sean was on the acting in, and I was, and I, he said an interesting line, and he said, "I don't have a phone," and he was talking about how the phone blocks the human connection. Yeah, it does. It does. It's it, the phone is like this between me and you. Yeah. And we can't really see you. You think I can get to you, but this comes first. Yeah. And we've got so ingratiated in our phone, and it really made me take a step back. Honestly, I know we're talking laughing, but it took me. It took me a step and said, "How much of my phone am I dedicating? To, how, how much of time am I dedicating to my phone? Like I have it in my hand. Can I pick my phone up five without five minutes? I'm doing like this. Can you leave it at home? Jeez, that's shaky. Nah. Could we leave our phone at home? I, I, but here, I can. here's the here's the great here's the great mind fault. They tell you that actually makes you more connected, right? 
It does. And in fact, it does not. It, makes, it actually it makes you less oh, connected, God. which is yeah. why I think it's one of the reasons why we had the big debacle mm-hmm. when it comes to maybe what we consider biological warfare because – they want, the radiation? You to, they want you to believe, no, I w- they want you to actually accept completely the mindset that this device makes you more connected sitting within a box than actually being outside of that box and being connected with people. Mm. They're trying to push you further into the box. Mm. That's what I believe that they're trying I, to do. Yeah, man, listen, bro. It's like a divide and conquer scheme, right? right. If we look, if we watch kids now, they don't even look up. No. no. Kids don't even talk to you, bro. They, they don't even talk to it's, you. It's, it's, it's interesting. When when I was born, the very first thing that I was probably playing with was a rattle. And the very first thing that I probably got an opportunity to master Atari. was a C and say. What the hell is that? <laughs> exactly. What? <laughs> right. See, I don't know what that is. You, you, you see what, Tim, you, see you know what, what a C and say is? Yeah. I don't know right. what the hell that is. Wow. So, and so. Yeah. Spin, by the, y'all had spin wheels, man. What, what's going on? I don't so, know what. So nah. by, the time, by the time, Steve, one of the very first things, what was the very first thing that you were able to master? A Nintendo. And well, no, well, no. I'm talking Game about Boy? as a as a as a very very young child, maybe like one or two. Uh, calculus, calculus. I mean, I started calculus at third grade. Oh wow! <laughs> so so so. <laughs> my, see what, my see what, point what, is, see what I'm dealing with right now. <laughs> if you look at the kids today, one of the very first things they are able to master is a absolutely, device. A- absolutely, An iPad, facts, a cell phone. So look at how four generations. T- Four decades, so much has changed in four decades where my first mastery of something was pulling it and it played a farm animal mm-hmm. and a sound. Isn't that simple, though? Isn't it more impressive to play the iPhone than that? Ugh. Wait, wait, that, that ah. my, my, is it more impressive? <laughs> is it a little bit more impressive? Is it more impressive or is it causing you to be disconnected? Because now are you doing the exact same so thing on the phone? Hold, hold, let's, let's, let's talk about that for a second. You just said that they just look at the phone all day, but can they speak to you? Can they comprehend well? Can they write well? Can I ask you this question? Yeah. Evolution. That doesn't answer my question. W- do they need to do it? Yes. Absolutely. Guess Why? what? Guess what? Everything's digital. Get, but guess what? Everything. Guess digital. what? Ho, ho. That's, that's, so that's see, everything see, is see, digital. See, see, hold, so you're see, making so the point. You're making the point. See, now that everything has gone so digital, it's going to be extremely easy for people to live in a box. And necessarily, it doesn't have to be. Now, it's okay except in that jail cell. This is it. I, I said this. I said this like seven weeks ago when y'all said, "What was the mark? This is it, mm. because this is the box that they're trapping you in." Uh, Android ain't the fucking mark of the beast. Okay. I promise you that. <laughs> well, all, all uh, maybe Apple, but not Android. So, Steve, I got a question for you. So, with that said, we talking about you know evolution, whether it's on paper, or if it's virtual, or if it's digitized. If you can't read a contract. You're going to get fucked in this country. Nigga, in 20 years, TikTok will be a contract. It'll be if you got your stuff online. You got to think about how evolution. Really? Yeah. Evolution is different, bro. We're going online. The bottom line is we are go- We are yeah. headed to a direction to where. I'm not saying stop that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm what are you saying? saying? Stop that. They, what I'm saying is they're not. There's a lot of stuff that we needed in the 90s because of this device I no longer need. I no longer have to do. In fact, people can work solely off of this. Everything is, they don't need anything else. I'm not talking so, about two, I'm talking about comprehension skills. They don't, why would you, so, if you so don't talk to nobody, why you so need Steve, to comprehend? So, Steve, do you know what you're, really? you know what, do you know <laughs> what you're saying? That's, that's, that, that, that's your I'm argument. I'm not saying right or wrong. I'm not arguing. That's your I'm argument. telling you where we're going. Do you, do you get what no. you're saying? So, I, that's where kids are going now. So, so what's next? Will it be the Terminator? <laughs> okay, so, so what you, okay. Listen, the reason why I say that, we are, no, we have Joe Rogan listen, show. Listen, <laughs> listen, the reason why I say that is because I we're talking about shit. things being all digital and you being able to yeah. do it from your phone. Well, from a phone, what are you actually doing? You're feeding this brain instead of feeding your brain, and this will be actually what replaces you because of AI. So this is what. So what I'm saying is, you you make it as if that's a great thing that you get away from actually understanding and learning how to read a contract because now you. You've actually minimized yourself, and you've taught this to do it. So now it replaces you, mm. and we get to a all uniform. It's a heavy We argument. get to a uni- a uniform income where nobody's actually working because all the jobs have been replaced. And so that's why well, I'm saying AI's it's, coming anyway, though. It, it Artificial is. intelligence is coming it, anyway. Absolutely, and we can't stop that. But how do we actually brace for the blow? They have to be able to understand something more than this. Do we because help when it? it all crashes, who's going to be able to? Do we help it because we we drunk the Kool Aid? Do we help it? What help what? 
AI to come. I don't think AI, well, AI is already here, not in the form yeah, of. Yeah, it's already here. It's already here. It but works. It was, it was built on data, correct? Out, series AI. But it was, it was built on data, yeah. correct? It, it, who, it, gave, who gave, who gave us, the data? Yeah, they so read us right help, now. Did we help it? Absolutely. Okay. No, no question. I, I don't, I, I think every, I think human evolution happens. I don't know if it's evolution. I think what, right. ha- what happened, you got so convenient because it's, you're lazy, you bought in. It's because regressive. A, a, Adam Smith, Wealth of Nations, wrote the book, put in the group chat. In the book, he said, Companies do not make products to make your life better. They make products to make profit. Of course. And simple. Agreed. And they're going to lean into your most devilish, your most carnal desires. They do. And you're slothful. Not you, but we're slothful. We're lazy. So we're going to make that do all the work for you. You ain't got to feed your brain. That's one muscle. You can work your biceps, another muscle. And you got to feed nothing. Yeah. Before you know it, you ain't worth nothing. And so when we started talking about the and, – and look, I think some of these things are absolutely amazing. But when you start talking about the full autonomy car, we talk about the metaverse. You don't even have <laughs> to be anybody anymore. You can literally create something, and that's who you are. That's true. Yeah. Isn't that evolution, though? That's Is not that evolution? evolution. That's you're being, you're being replaced. Really? I don't know if I want to be simple anymore. Does that make Bro, you simple? being replaced? You're not being simple or advanced. You're I don't know replaced. if I, I don't know if you could take my mind. If you could take my mind, if you can keep my mind, be careful. Keep Steve. my consciousness. Dude, that's what Steve. Well, actually, that's Steve. They they actually already. If you can keep my right? consciousness, Steve, that's actually think something about that's it. already being. How many right people now? would change their? If you could create the world you wanted, because all the only thing, the only thing that tells you you're in pain is your 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 mind. The only thing that convinces you that you're not living right is your mind. The, that's the only, not your body. Your body just responds to what your mind does. So Absolutely. you're, so you're okay with being a man creation, not a God creation. I'm still a God creation. Not it depends you, on how you define God. Not, not, not when you become a metal machine. We can't nah. do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. See, see, that's not AI though. See, AI is much more than a metal machine. I don't. That, I that's, know that. Yeah. But once you it's put a, me into an actual metal, because you're talking, but, you're talking about human evolution. I believe what human. It's, evo- it's another. How is that human, human about that, bro? Steve. That's, if it if the singularity happens, it if has. the singularity happens and they gain a consciousness, if a artificial intelligence, if the singularity is when they're able to operate independently, when the singularity happens, that means that it's not just robots. It's your phone being able to operate on its own with you. Why do why, why can't is AI be in concert you? with us versus human evolution doesn't mean that we go extinct. It just means we evolve what we can be as humans. So, we open up scopes. We open up different avenues for ourselves. We open up different possibilities for who we are. It doesn't negate God. It don't take him out the picture. It's just human evolution. Maybe God can't work with these beat down bodies. Maybe he can't work with what we are now because we're cynical. We're narcissists and we're stuck in our ways. Maybe, maybe artificial intelligence Intelligence helps us see the world differently. So, Steve, I'll give you one point. That was a soliloquy. It, it was, but I'll give you one point in this existence. One, one entity or one group is going to always require dominance. Right. And you're not going to stop AI. And ne- last time I checked, nothing told me that I was supposed to be the dominant person on this particular earth. But you start doing this right here, which you are where you're at, you will no longer be the dominant person on earth. But why, why do we, I'm just asking, why do we assume? I, like when it comes to things we don't understand, like aliens and things like that, I don't want to go too far at the bar, but we just we we feel like we the only life forms, yeah. and all I'm saying is like we we are so afraid of change, the fear that the world that we live in now it grips us, and so we don't believe that anything can be better than what we are now. So so give me the narrative that makes what we are talking about as you become more disconnected from human interactions. Being more connected to uh, what AI or a computer or data interactions. Tell me how that actually looks two hundred years down the road, bro. Was th- hold on, was that on camera? No, it's not on camera. <laughs> but, it's, it, but it's in your line of sight, so, though. But, but let me say this because we we ain't got a lot of time. But what does that is look it? Like? Hear me. Sometimes human interaction. Listen on my phone. Let's talk real if we're going to talk real, Keegan. When I'm looking at my phone, Tim, do you have to worry about being brokenhearted? Do you worry about having to be disappointed? 
if you tell Siri to go do this, what's she going to do? That motherfucker going to do exactly what you tell her to do. If she can't do it, she's not going to lie to you. She ain't going to lead you on. Siri going to tell you, no, I can't do that. What are you talking about? That's what Alexa and Siri does. They don't lie to you. They, don't, they tell you the truth. They're honest with you. I know I sound ridiculous right now, but you got to. But what I'm saying is, I go to my phone, I don't have to, like TV, and I'm not, I don't have to watch what you're telling me to watch. I can go to my phone and choose what game I want to watch. I can see, I can go Fox News or CNN or no news at all. Mm-hmm. I can go to Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Well, my point is that my phone does not lie to me. My phone does not break my heart. My phone, I'm telling you, this, these are the things that all of our phones does. It's our private but, diary. But, but you Steve, call but that human evolution and that's and less, Maybe that's human evolution. That's not. Because the, the full range of the human experience also includes disappointment. Maybe we uh, hold on, slow down. Okay, go ahead. Slow, it includes disappointment. It hold on, slow down. It includes heartbreak. That's the full range of experience. Because you know why you had you had that? Because when you have heartbreak, there's nothing more powerful okay. than catharsis. It is. Trust me when I say, catharsis. Go ahead. Is say, nothing what, more what, powerful than that. What catharsis mean? That means when you make up with somebody after you have been disappointed or heartbroken. There's nothing like that feeling. Catharsis. You can't get it nowhere else. Say that. Catharsis. That's a good word. You cannot get it nowhere else. That's why makeup sex is so great. Come on. Come because on. Because you can't get that nowhere else. Come on. So you want to get rid of That's all that stuff just so you can actually have the perfect, quote, unquote, non-hurtful experience with that right there. I'm going to take my chances with the person that may lie to me, that may disappoint me, that may break my heart. Because guess what? They're going to do so much more than that for me. It's going to be positive. Now, there is human act interaction. On, on be your care, phone. Be careful. Be Instagram careful. people what? highlights. Oh, <laughs> See? We stretching. We, we stretching. always talking about it. Fans only. I'm just being we honest. Stretching. Stretching. Listen, y'all. Listen. Let me find out you got a, like, a little rubber girl in your, your closet. Let me find out you got one. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is what, that's yeah. what it's starting to yeah. sound like. Yeah, like, yeah because, because that's exactly yeah, what yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me find out, bro. Let me find out. And with that, y'all subscribe. Hey man, listen, man. This uh, has been a hell of a year. Uh, amen. <laughs> this has been a hell of a year, man. Y'all subscribe on YouTube to the Deep Service Pod. YouTube on Instagram, man. Uh, Instagram, the Deep Service Pod. Man, this has been a hell of a year. Guys, we got some big things coming for you. Um, next year, we want to continue to keep pushing the bounds, keep having thought-provoking conversations, um, keep exploring the world, um, keep pushing the bounds doing the best we can to be the best men we can. Amen. That's our responsibility. Amen. Hold each other up. That's everybody's responsibility. People as a community, listen to me. We hold each other up. Mm-hmm. We don't have to love every action. We don't have to like everything about what everybody do. She, she can get on your nerves. He can get on your nerves. But at the, end, at the end of the day, no matter what Joe Biden does, it no matter what AI does, it no matter what nobody does, love is real. And if we love each other, we can progress in ways um, that we never thought. Absolutely. Anybody got any closing remarks? I'll say oh, what? I got one more thing. Hold on, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, before we do a closing remark, before you get emotional. <laughs> I'm just playing. Ah. We didn't do our top five. We didn't do our top five. <laughs> no, that's we got to do that real quick. Yeah. What's your top five? <laughs> Hurry up. What's your top five, man? We closing off 2021 with your top five. Nas. Come on. Why did you say it like that? Jay Z. <laughs> Andre 3000. Big. No. And for my top five, I got Ludacris. <laughs> <laughs> I can't argue with it. Go ahead, King. Don't act like Luda ain't that guy. Go ahead, King. Don't act like that. I'm going to say Nas, Big, J, KRS1. And Rock Kim. That's my top five. That's a good top five. Jay Z, Tupac, Big, Kanye, Go ahead and say it. You've been saying it's it all. Okay. You've been saying since okay. I know you. It's Go okay. Ahead. You're not going to get nobody. Dirty go soda you. in a styrofoam. <laughs> Spend the day getting Stop my it. mind Stop blown. Stop it. <laughs> Marsh Man is my guy. Future Hendrix. Man, I'm telling you, he, the, he listen, Future Hendrix, man, you already know. I listen, I already told so, y'all what so it was. You say I'm telling Nas you right is now. Nas not in the top five. Nas is not my top five. Nas is not in your top my five. My top five is, is, is independent to Travis Stephen Talbot. <laughs> so Nas is not in your top five. Nas is definitely not in my top five. Mm. Do you want me to say it again? 
Mm. Yeah, Nas is I, a goat. Now listen, Nas mm. is a, listen. I re, here's my top five and the top five. He's there. I got you. Okay. There's a difference. I got you. My got preference. You. My top you. five. I got you. But but the top five: Nas, Big, J, Tupac, Rakim. That's the most authentic, huh? Yeah, I don't know how they didn't say Tupac. They well, East Coast guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's when they was getting no, mashed no, by Tupac. That's when brother. Tupac because was mashing all, the gas on the ass. Because our oh. top five. So hold on, hold on. Top five is only five slots. I want you to look at my top five. Tupac not in there? My top five. My top five. But Tupac ain't in there? And my top five. Tupac ain't in there? Nas is not bugging. in your top five, right? Well, nah, nah. Tupac better than Nas. I'm out. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm out. Uh, so, so Tupac ain't I'm better out. than Nas? I'm out. Do the closing remarks? I'm out. Yeah. So Tupac, y'all yeah, go, yeah, 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 man, because yeah, yeah, we'll be yeah, arguing all night, yeah, yeah, and yeah, I don't want to do this. I want to bring some positive energy going into 2022. Tupac in my top 10. He's not in my top five. He's my top 10. Gotcha. I know that beef got you, because you was, you was in, yeah, that beef. Yeah, what? when Pop, he shut that beef down. Nas wasn't talking. Nobody went big. Went the, I want to get it to him. No, hold on. Check Snoop. Oh. No, no, check Snoop. Snoop put it on record. They met in New York. Nas and Pop. And he flew and out. Let, and and, and Snoop would think what out. happened. Now everybody wants to tell Pac, No, Pac didn't know he was into just then. He didn't What's know what he was into. What's your closing remarks? Oh, now, now you want to do closing remarks. Now you want to do closing remarks. Okay. It's a little fade. You think it's closing remarks. He did not turn it down. Okay, okay. He did not turn it down. bugging, son. All right. Closing remarks, Ivan. Go ahead. Um, it's been a great year. Um, I feel like it's going to be an even better year. And you know the political balance looks crazy right now. One thing I'll say to that is I think we still have to wait and see because if we look at it as what's taken place thus far, we all have an opinion. But we don't know what takes place over the next three years, one. And two, how does that out? How does that look if we all buy into that now when it's an all Republican House mm. and seat mm. okay. in Congress? So, you, uh, you know, allow what's happened this year to happen and stay within this year. And let's keep moving forward and let's see what takes place. What you got, Keith? To everybody, I want to say thank you for subscribing and viewing, liking and sharing. We really appreciate you guys supporting us. Um, I would say, you know, take stock of life. Take inventory of life this Come year. On. And, and count the blessings. It's easy to get caught up in what you don't have. Come on. Absolutely. And you'll forget what you do have. Take stock of life. And I will leave you with a quote, W.E.B. Du Bois. Um, the price of liberty is less than the cost of repression. Focus on getting free. However that looks to you, get free. Because the price of that pursuit is less than the cost of slavery. Plain and simple. And cut. That's good. That's what they're saying for that. No, that's not good.